Our soldiers need better weapons. We gave them all war hammers. No, no, give them battle axes. Actually, stupid. They think you cut wood with. Why don't you goblins try using spears, maybe? No, spears too pointy. Why are you here, human? Boredom, really? I was hoping you guys had a job for me. Goblins running out of armor. You humans keep picking it up from goblin corpses. Yes, human's fault. We asked big war god if we go to war with humans. He say yes. Oh, how did you speak to the big war god? I had dream about goblin war against humans, and goblins win. Goblins king and castle. You always have dream about goblin war. You wake up crying like baby. Shut up, wart face. No, you shut up, bat nose. Your muscles are smaller than grubfoots. Huh? Guys, guys, do you need more goblin armor or not? Yes. yes. Bat nose, you go bang rock together again while I run. These goblins, man, they're rock pretty rock. tough to talk to. Escaping nine till five. It's back, baby. So I was scouring my YouTube comments, as I often do, I read every single comment by the way. I got a comment from someone called Rusty Shot Gaming saying they'd like to see me do a 9 till 5 collecting goblin armors from the goblin temple that was featured in the Land of the Goblins quest. They said it's actually a decent money. Well, I find it hard to believe that collecting goblin males, which are only worth a couple of hundred GP, maybe like 500 GP, I'm not too sure to be honest. I can't imagine that's decent money, but I guess there's only one way to find out and that's by doing it as a job. So I have never went out and collected goblin armors before, I couldn't find any information on it on the wiki, this money making method, the wiki has lots of money making methods but this wasn't in it, and I couldn't find anyone making YouTube videos about this money making method, so I had to come up with my own method of how to do this. Getting to the goblin temple, I think using the fishing guild to teleport from the skills necklace is the fastest way to get there. Go away human, we already tell you blah blah blah, only goblins are allowed in, blah blah blah. Goblins, so annoying. First hurdle, I can't get in. Humans can't enter. I gotta become a goblin. I've purchased a goblin mask and some goblin boy gear off the Grand Exchange. Oh my, this is beautiful. I'm beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Hopefully it works. Goblins, can I enter? <laughs> Go away, human. Damn it. It actually didn't work. I was kind of hoping it would work. Although I kind of knew it wouldn't work. <laughs> Goodbye, goblin mask. The actual way to enter the temple is by drinking this goblin potion that I have in my inventory. This is a leftover from the Land of the Goblins quest that I had in my bank, so this should work. Although I haven't turned into a goblin entered here since I done the quest a couple of months ago. You must unequip all of your items, damn, so I can't wear graceful, which means run energy is going to be a bit of an issue, and I can't wear jewellery, so I'm going to have to use these house tabs. I guess actually I can use the recharge pool in my playground house and just use house teleport tabs to transport around. Hey, it worked this time. I've got a goblin menu. Select your goblin. Awesome. Goblin customization. Let's go with hat goblin. Oh yeah, we're going goblin mode. Here we go. This is awesome. Are they going to let hat goblin in? Whoa. What the? <laughs> hat goblin, uh... Hat goblins... <laughs> hat goblins got something wrong with his arms. <laughs> okay, so I'm testing how long it takes to get a full inventory of goblin males which come from the crates, there's a crate right there. I'm timing how long it takes to get a full inventory because I'm going to need to make a bunch of goblin potions. So it's about one and a half minutes for a full inventory of goblin males doing the full trip, which means it's about one potion every five minutes, which is 12 potions per hour, which is roughly 100 potions for the full eight hours. 16k GP for a full inventory of goblin males, that's a little bit more than I was expecting anyway. I'm traveling to the, what is it, the crafting guild because I need to pick the Pharmacost Berries which is the ingredient to make the goblin potions. You can't just buy the potions on the Grand Exchange sadly. Which means also picking these berries and making the potions does cut into the 8 hours of time for this 9 till 5. It is a part of the money making method. This is the final inventory of berries. I'm banking them here in the crafting guild. And there is 108 berries that'll make over 100 potions. And it only took about four and a half minutes to pick the berries. I purchased unfinished toad flax potions. You combine the berries with them. That makes the goblin potions. And it only took eight minutes and 37 seconds to finish all the potions. Collect all the berries and make all the potions. Eight minutes, 37 seconds. That's a negligible amount of time. We've still got seven hours and 52 minutes of actually collecting the goblin mills and trying to make as much money as we possibly can. The bank tab's cleaned up, it's time to start collecting mails, making some money. This is usually what a sponsor segment would go, but unfortunately for my bank account, I don't have one today, so instead, become a channel member, check it out, click the join button, you get some benefits.
I have this absolutely despicable camera angle for YouTube videos. This just isn't nice to look at in the slightest, but it's very effective. And it's the camera angle I'm probably going to use through most of this job because I can see everything I have to click on. Jewelry box, no problem. Goblin cave, no problem. I can get to the top of the goblin tunnels, no problem. And then clicking on the goblin box, which is closer than the box I used in my little test. There's one right at the entrance that I missed. Click on that, no problem. What the f***? <laughs> the sharks and crambans just start spawning here. <laughs> what? Someone just dropped their food. Okay. Don't get distracted, Jack. Collect these goblin mails. So roughly halfway into this eight hour shift, maybe around four hours in, I was getting a little bit distracted and I started to pay attention to the yellow text popping up on my screen. It's the goblin preacher in the middle and he said some interesting things. Some of my favorite things that he says is, you goblins listen. Slay enemies of big high war god. Enemies must die. Not to run from battle, cowards must die. Not to show mercy, merciful must die. And my favourite, not to make own plans, thinkers must die. It's an absolutely cracking speech, inspirational. I would vote for this guy. If he was running for, you know, PM or president or whatever, I would vote for this guy. Thinkers must die? Yeah, that's our clan mall. You want to join our clan? Not if you're a thinker. So I'm grinding away, doing this 9 till 5, collecting these goblin mails. And as I'm doing that, it's time to go over some bonus facts. Goblin related b -b 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 bonus facts. Goblins weren't always the stupid goblins that we see in the world today. Did he just call goblins stupid? Shut up, Ben knows you are stupid. In the land of the Goblin's Quest, there's a section where you summon, speak to, then defeat old goblin priests. And with each priest that you summon, the further back in time that priest existed. The first ghostly goblin you speak to, he basically speaks like a normal goblin, seems a bit dumb. But as you go through them, they become more and more intelligent until they're basically speaking like a normal human. This interesting little detail shows that the surface goblins weren't always goofy and stupid. It seems like they used to be as intelligent as human beings in this world. As most players know, old school RuneScape exists because a copy of the game that was made during RuneScape's peak in August 2007 was thankfully found six years later than old school RuneScape comes out. This copy of RuneScape had the Land of the Goblins quest largely developed on it already. And it's why RuneScape 3's Land of the Goblins quest and old school RuneScape's new Land of the Goblins quest are almost identical. There's very few differences. They share the same art, assets, dialogue and scripting, all of which was developed back in the real 2007. And finally, while researching the wiki to find these bonus facts, I found this little update log. It looks like back in 2015 the devs spent probably a bit too much time getting goblins out of trees. There's like three updates where they took a goblin out of a tree, <laughs> and I guess that's because when Free to Play launched in early 2015, they added like an extra 100 goblin spawns to Lumbridge, that's why there's so many of them there. I assume a lot of those spawns were in trees. They spent some time taking them out. All of 2015 apparently. If you enjoyed these bonus facts, leave a like. And if you have any bonus facts of your own, leave a comment. Help the video algorithm. We're back and this is the final inventory of stealing, I mean, uh, collecting goblin mails from the goblin temple. And although it's not a particularly exciting thing to do, is spam clicking on a box collecting goblin armor, the time passed fairly quickly, surprisingly, and I didn't mind doing this job. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the excitement of being a goblin. Am I that pathetic? Anyway, time's up. That's it. Perfect timing. We finished the inventory. Eight hours is up, including the time it took to make the potions. Let's see how much money we've made. We gathered a total of 7,532 goblin mills, and the bank tab's telling us the value of 3.7 mil. I'm hoping we can sell the goblin mills for a little bit more. The bank value was estimating 500 coins per goblin mill. We managed to sell them for 700 coins per mail, which is a significant increase, and we earned 5.2 million GP, way more than I was expecting. The cost of the unfinished Toad Flax potions came to about 280k, as did the cost of the teleport tabs that we used, 560k in total for the cost of supplies, which means our total profit is actually 4.7 million GP. This is scaping 9 till 5, playing RuneScape as a job. How would this work as a job? What would the salary be? Well, it's 4.7 mil GP per day, which makes it 590k GP per hour, 23.5 million GP per week, 94 million GP per month, and the salary would be 1.1 billion GP 
per year. And if this was your real life job, the average going rate on the black market is about 20 cents per million GP. You'd be making 12 cents per hour, under $1 per day, not even $5 per week, not even $20 per month, and only $220 per year. That's not a great salary. If you'd like to help shape the channel, consider becoming a member. I've recently reworked the tiers, and I plan on posting more for channel members too.